Hey everybody, I just want to <laughs> awkward silence. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Painting Happy Little Minis. Uh, I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And uh, we're going to do something a little different today that we haven't done in the past. Um, last week, the Marvel in Avengers uh, uh, Infinity Hero Click set came out. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun if we open up a couple blind boxes here and yep. pick one of the miniatures we get and we'll do a repaint on it. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I think it's going to be all right. And uh, like, I'm, I'm really hoping to get something like um, like Captain America and then doing him as the Hydra version of Captain America. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Cool. I, I'm going to obviously have to take some guidance from you. Uh, for the hero stuff? For the hero stuff. But, okay. uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, it was funny, like right before the, the show, I uh, was <laughs> standing there with a big pile of boxes and Rick was weighing them all carefully. Yes. Which one's the heaviest? I want to get the heaviest one. The heaviest one. So. It's probably gonna come back and bite me. And I'm hoping. Here. I'm hoping it does. It'll be like the most difficult large character piece in here. <laughs> but yeah, so these are available. At, if you guys are into Hero Clicks, they are available at your local game store now, and uh, you can jump in there. Oh, this is neat. Oh my goodness. So apparently there are 79 figures in all. Yeah, in total. In total. 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 <laughs> uh, collect all 79 figures. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, so one of my little figures I pulled is Pip the Troll, right there. It was part of the uh, the Infinity Watch and Infinity Gauntlet. So, oh, I'm gonna switch out the. Uh, yeah, I'll take those guys off. There. there we go. Put him up on the spinner. So I have that option. Uh, he's pretty cool. And then I also got oh shoot. I did get a Captain America, but it's the female Captain America who actually, the, her shield, she can fly on it. Oh, cool. Like, almost like how the Silver Surfer flies on the surfboard. Excellent. So. Very cool. So that one is pretty cool. Right. What's and going then on, Leona? I've got a Vision, but he's all yellow. You got the same one? Ba -bang. Ba -bang. All right, let's show that off. The vision, he's all yellow. It's got a bit of a lean to him. And yeah, that is kind of interesting. There's that. And then a copy, I got Kismet. Okay. And Kismet. Kismet kind of looks a lot like um, Adam Warlock, a female version of Adam Warlock, who, um, if you watch Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Adam is the one that's in the cocoon with um, the, the golden people, that race of golden people. Okay. Um, and in the comics is the one that actually gets the Infinity Gauntlet a after defeating Thanos. Oh, right, okay. And then disperses the stones, the uh, Infinity Stones amongst certain individuals to become the Infinity Watch, uh -huh, the Guardians okay. of the Stones. Cool. And, uh, so what did we get on but your did side? You get a, I did get a, a, a oh, ginormous. Yeah, so you, so you, you, you yeah, what'd you get? I got a, it's, um, this is a Giganto. Kind of fits my theme. Yeah. And Giganto is like this big whale, oh, wow. humanoid <laughs> whale <laughs> creature that is absolutely a Giganto. Put him on the spinner, put him on the spinner. I don't know if the spinner could handle this behemoth. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, but let's see if you want. Let's see if it can. Oh, it, it's groaning under the weight. Yeah. Oh. Under the weight of the, the spinner. Yeah. Nice. And that's actually a, a pretty good paint job right off the bat. But yeah, it is real. Very nice. I'm thinking gray. Just <laughs> make it dull. Dull. Yeah, dull it down. So what did you get? Uh, I also got a vision. The, uh, yellow vision. All right. And... The regular colored vision. Oh, interesting. I got uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Sorry, yeah. So that's Paul Bettany on the on the spinner. Nice. At the Paul Bettany, yeah. Yeah. And here comes Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, right there. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I mean, can't go wrong with some Bradley Cooper action. 
That's like classic rocket. And uh, we've got uh, Samuel L. Jackson hmm. in yeah. bubble, bubble helmet. Yeah, space bubble helmet Nick Fury. Oh, I can see Nick, that one being uh, greened out and hydrated up. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Hydra Nick? I, no, you don't like that? I, I'm not a big fan of Hydra. Most people I mean, aren't. <laughs> As well, you appear to be. Oh, it's just it's a cool it's a cool. Uh, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's villains that great, but yeah. And then uh, eventually Lily. Huh. That's that's also accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my uh, colossal gigantic, because I obviously chose one that was lesser in weight the, the, than your behemoth. <laughs> right. That's actually pretty cool. I like. Uh, there's some good options if you were to like give her more of a metallic look, right? Because okay. like like she is in the movie, right? She has a very met you know metallic out yep. armor and right. stuff. So yes, yeah, and repainting on the legs. And, yeah, uh, there's armor plates. Uh, that could be cool. Be very neat. But I am going to work on Giganto the whale, because <laughs> he is super cool looking. I will also work on Wasp. My gigantic one. So apparently each of those boxes has some sort of like colossal massive. Yeah, yeah. they piece. each do. There's five miniatures total in each box. Right. And you're gonna get one gigantic miniature and then four, four of the uh, standards. Ones. Okay. This guy is just beast. Yeah. It's enormous. Hmm. Check it out. Okay, so from in the chat, Nick is here. Peter, okay. Shane, Sebastian. Thea and Jerome as well. And then also Sebastian said, I tried the paintbrush licking trick and it works so well. Thanks for the trick. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's not for everybody, but uh, if it works for you, that's good. Cool. That's cool. It's a cool miniature. Yeah, it is neat. All right. Now, mm. what color? I mean, I don't want to do gray, like a normal whale yeah. gray. I'm almost thinking like um, reds and yellows, maybe. Yeah, well, that's interesting. It'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, I'd be tempted to. We got. I think it is such a, a nice um, sort of start with the greens. That I'd be tempted to uh, maybe make it a little bit darker on top. Uh, uh, stick, stick with greens. Stick, stick with the greens. A little bit darker on top, and then lighten it up. On the underside, mm -hmm. and take that back through to a lighter tail. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that'd be pretty wild. But yeah, you could do that fairly straightforwardly with some uh, highlighting on the inside there, and then mm -hmm. some um, some shading in the in the crevices on the back there. Right. I think that'd be the way to go. Cool. So my thought. kind of like oh, for the back. For um, the back? I'd, I'd start with the front. Yeah, start with the front the and the underneath. Yeah. And probably, uh, oh, I think. See what I got. Green. Also, Steve is here and Craig is here. What? And Everybody's Steve, here. Steve says, you must lick the brush to get in touch with the soul of the brush. Yes. yes. <laughs> He's not wrong. Spoken like a true paint nerd. Paint nerd. I love that shirt. Paint, <laughs> paint nerd. Paint nerd. <laughs> um, so once again, I have forgotten my glasses. <laughs> Effect is lost. I'm obviously getting old, old, because so I can't see and you I can't them. remember. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. So bear with me. So <laughs> is that why you picked the big mini? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there's a point there where it's like, oh, I can do something on rocket. Uh, let's not go with the smallest of the minis. But it'd be cool to do in him in his like uh, orange. Oh yeah, kind of suit. They're very neat, but uh, okay, straight up. I think we're gonna. So, amongst all of you watching, who does play Hero Clicks? It's been around for a while. As far as started off as a game called Mage Knight, and then became they added in the Hero Clicks. Hero Clicks line. Yeah. And then uh, the company's gone through some hands over the years, but 
current people that are in charge have some really great products coming out, obviously. Yep. Not just with Hero Clicks, but with like their um, D and D miniatures and Pathfinder miniatures and all the other You're right. products that we've yeah. had painted in the past. Yeah, all great stuff from WizKids. Timothy says I did for a few years, but I stopped after they released Batman. Okay. Um, also, Craig says he's waiting on the dice and dice cup, but I'll let you know when we it gets here. Mm -hmm. All right. Give us a picture. Um, also, Sebastian asks, what paint slash paint brushes do you guys use? Uh, most of the stuff that we use on the show is uh, Vallejo or the Army Painter or mm -hmm. Citadel. Mm -hmm. uh, occasionally some uh, Reaper Master Series. Or P3. Or P3. Or some, um, I occasionally use some secret weapon miniature washes. Yeah. Because I really like those. Uh, paintbrush wise, uh, Rick l uses everything that. Anything I can get my hands on. His hands on, yeah. Uh, and I actually mostly use a uh, stuff by an English company called Broken Toad. So just under there. There we go. Broken Toad. So this one's a size two. They do um, size two, one, zero, and triple zero. Okay. But they come with such a nice point that you can get loads of detail out of the size two brush. So, which most of the time, if I'm doing sort of reasonable level detail painting, I'll end up just uh, not needing to change my brush. Nice. So, as far as the brushes go, yeah, I, I I'll brush paint with anything, but I have um, I do tend to use stuff like uh, Games and Gears, or some of the brushes I use. Um, yep. I do use the the, uh, the uh, army painter war paint brushes as well. Yep. Um, and then I would say I even do have some um, Citadel ones. Yep. So. Also, um, with the hero clicks, Jeremy says I did. Uh, briefly in the late 90s, okay. but then I moved, so the group I played with was gone. Right. And then Shane says, I don't play it, but I've got a bunch of them. They just look cool on the shelf. They are great shelf pieces and table talkers. That's for sure. Yeah. When I uh, used to work at Games Workshop in the uh, promotion studio, mm -hmm. there were quite a few people in the promotion studio that collected them. Okay. And uh, they come back from the uh, from games and stuff, actually, like every Wednesday afternoon, all excited about the buys, and they sit down at their table and at the desk and open them all up right. and check to see what everybody had. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's also fun because it's Hero Clicks as a game is like an advanced version of chess, and I'm sure that the Hero Clicks community would slap me for saying that. It's just that that's how I perceive it. Is it's like battle chess. Right. You have to move. They only have you know certain ranges of movement and but they get powers and abilities so it's like battle chess right and you get to do it with your some of your favorite iconic characters from the comic books so like this batman team was gonna to totally wreck you know this other uh like the jla or right. uh rj floyd says richard hey what's up buddy and uh, Timothy Carlisle says, a friend of mine repainted the Beast Boy Bears as Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh amazing. <laughs> also, James is here. Hello. See, that's one of the things I think that's kind of fun about doing repaints on miniatures like this is you, get, you can add your own flair and style to it. Uh, you know, yep. um, like if I wanted to, I could add tattoos to this guy. You know, like right. silver like Nordic tattoos of some sort along his, his uh, skull. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be excellent. Actually, that's a that's actually a great idea. Yeah. I think you went with like an, an orange or a yellow. Like yeah. or, orange that has, like, you start with like an orange glow mm -hmm. and yellow in the middle. Right. Mm -hmm. give it a, that yeah, that looked really cool. Yeah. I have to pull up um, some old Nordic runes and, yeah, that would be fun. Bust in those. Yeah. 
Uh, Shane says, one of the things I love about Heroclix is how far down the comet comic rabbit hole they will go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they make clicks of some relatively unknown and obscure characters from the deep DC and Marvel archives. That is a fact. I mean, like, hello, this right here. <laughs> you know, the fact I that I'm... I've never, I'm, ever heard of that dude. So this is a <laughs> character that uh, Namor summons and stuff sometimes. And I've never heard of the person that you <laughs> just mentioned that summons them. The Submariner. I think that's right. I think we need to ask Jerome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, what his name was? It, no, uh, Jerome. It, so Jerome used to work for WizKids. He's okay. the editor of Game Trade Magazine, yep. and he still actively plays HeroClix. So. He called him Fudgy the Whale. He wants to do a, a remake, a repaint version oh. of this character as Fudgy the oh. Whale. Oh. <laughs> but putting like over his eyebrows, putting like cotton candy looking gotcha. puffs and stuff. I understand. Or fro where it looks like frosting. RJ says, Richard, I miss your beautiful self. Uh, I need to get back to Dragon Con to see you. Are you going this year, <laughs> RJ? Because I, I, I plan on being down there, I think, um, as a vacation, going down there and just having a great time as Gotta one. Out there. Yeah, as one will do at Dragon Con. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Shane says, I've never seen Power Pack action figures, um, but Hero Clicks has Power Pack. Yeah. Like, as an example. Yeah, that is another, you know, obscure character line. Um, great comics, though, with the, the kids with powers and you know, stuff. Is that Kitty Pride that Richard is working on? Or. Dave? Dave. 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 No, sorry. Uh, this is uh, Wasp. In giant form. Yep. Heart of the Avengers, he says. Heart? Heart. Heart, Heart of the Avengers. Heart. Sorry. <laughs> Heart of the Avengers. We really need you to get a, a, an American accent down. Bro. I just didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I joke. <laughs> I don't know. Your, your, your Australian accent actually brings... Um, property value up <laughs> right okay <laughs> on, and, oh. on everything we do Excellent. if you had a new zealand accent oh, right <laughs> oh bringing it full circle yes <laughs> i'm telling you if you guys would be so kind to us to share this <laughs> uh the the uh witty banter yeah so yep. everybody out there in the uh interverse can uh share in the humor that we <coughs> attempt here. Uh, RJ says, no, not this year. I want to try next year. You should okay. try go to going to Pensacon. Uh, in Pensacola. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. My daughter lives in Pensacola, my oldest. But she's not into this stuff. So Pensacon is a good show though from what everything I've heard. It's grown really, really well. So Dave, you're just adding silver? Or at the, at the moment, yeah, I'm doing the, um, getting like a silver base coat down on her, uh, over her black sort of undersuit. And what I'd like to do after that, so I can go through and do a, a quick highlight with my lightest silver, okay. um, which is the um, aluminium. Aluminium, yes. love aluminium. it. Aluminium. Uh, there, um, well, after I've done a quick highlight with that, I'll go back and paint in some like panel lines. You know, a lot oh, of um, yeah, like how Colossus looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those lines. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking, uh, I think actually more like Lost in Space kind of suit. Yeah, from the new the new the, robot. So yeah, but it's pretty much the same, right? Yeah. It's that, exactly. The same sort of look, but uh, rather than going and painting each of those individually. Mm -hmm. uh, this way, I can get a nice, quick, sort of lay down of the, the um, the highlights that you'd see with the silvers. Nice. And um, then just those panel lines and a little bit of highlighting, and it'd be all good. Sean Morris says, "Hi, Dave." Hey, Sean. Your uh, table is looking fantastic. What table is that? Sean is paint. Uh, 
building and painting a um, Mustafa table oh, for Star Wars Legion. Nice. He's been doing a lot of um, basically live streaming on the Star Wars uh, terrain builders terrain page Facebook okay. page. Is Sh Sean? Are you in our on our group, the uh, painting happy little minis group? If you're not, please join or request to join. We'll add you in, and we'd love to see the progress you're yeah. you're making on that. You just share some of those. Uh, yeah. Things over. But he's done a very um, sort of meticulous. It's a very meticulous build. Okay. And um, sort of a very meticulous, uh, I guess, documentation of the build as well. That's good. So, but yeah, that's looking very cool. He's, he's finally. He's got. When I say finally, he's got a lot of paint going down at the moment. Okay. Which is really, really this is cool. actually looking pretty cool pretty nice. with the with the new. Yep. Highlights. Sean says, "I will do that immediately." Sweet. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, this guy's looking. In when does a beast mode already? Wasp and what's Ant her fate? Ant Man and Wasp come out? Is July? it July fifth? Yeah. yeah no, not fifth, because the fourth is a Tuesday. Sixth. Uh, the fifteenth. July fifth. June fifteenth. June fifteenth. It's a number. I could have looked that up. Sorry. <laughs> know where we're gonna be. At Origins. Origins. You'll be in Ohio. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> Ohio. Rest in peace. The place. It'll be fun. And you're doing some, uh, you're gonna be doing some live streaming from that? We yeah. are. Yeah, we're gonna do live streaming uh, interviews with a bunch of the publishers. And uh, we're gonna do an episode of Painting Happy Little Minis off from the showroom floor with uh, Jason from Realm Smith TV. And then. Um, so I get a Thursday off, yeah. You get a Thursday off. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Yes. Also, Shane says it drops July 6th. Ju July, July 6th. 6th. I saw a fantastic uh, poster, Ant Man and Wasp poster, the other day where it was, it's a white poster and then it's got the logo down the bottom. Okay. It says Ant Man and Wasp. And it's like, uh, they've forgotten something. The picture, where's the picture? Right. And you step up really close and then right in the middle, oh, there's like a tiny ant and a tiny wasp. That's it's awesome. This nice. big. Perfect. I pointed it out to my daughter and, and she's like, where's the picture? <laughs> I said, great, it's not just me. <laughs> you can't see it? <laughs> but yeah, it was brilliantly done. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to look up some Nordic runes. There's some very clever people in the Marvel marketing. Teams. So yeah, as you can see here, just um, Giving some, giving some bright spots. I'll blend those back in with a little bit of the gun metal we're using from uh, Army Painter. Okay. And once I've gone through and painted the black lines in for the for those sort of panels. Uh, be able to go back and do some highlighting and, and shading so we sort of know where everything's at. Uh, James says, repainting Heroclix is a rabbit hole that I've avoided so far, but I'm circling it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Shane asks, what dates are you going to be in Ohio? I've got to go out there and shoot some material more for my project. You still got more to shoot, Shane? Mm. Yep, apparently. Well, That's obviously he hasn't been to Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> It's when when you're out there. You're at is it the twelfth through 12th the seventeenth? Oh wow! June. You're out there for ages. June, June yeah. now. And we have to bring every. We have to bring our own food. We have to bring our own house. It's crazy out in Ohio. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. like the wastelands. Yeah, I'm sleeping in the die. van. It's like Kurt. It's like Mad Max. Kurt went right. It's yeah, it's yeah. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt went. Rest in peace, Kurt. <laughs> yeah. And Johnny's just giving up. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yep. Just giving up. All right. Kurt's not dead. <laughs> All right. There's no point having a catchphrase, Johnny, if you're not going to use it. Okay. So I think that's looking pretty good. 
You like that silver? I do. Yeah, it looks really cool. And you're going to line the silver with black? Yep. Nice. I'll start off in a particular, um, particular fashion. We'll see how that works and um, see what people think if they like the look of it. If not, we can go a different way. But the place, place is going to sort of show off the best is on the, the thighs. I decided I'm going to do a simple thing, which would just be do a, like a band around the whole leg. Okay. Or if I do a little sort of design step. So I can just go like that around the whole thing. Right. Or do like a do that sort of thing, like an interlocking. Oh yeah. So that's going to take a little bit extra extra work. But I think it would look a little bit better. Yeah, doing these rooms is a little more challenging than I had uh, expected it to be. You can always simplify them. They don't have to be straight up authentic Viking runes. All right. But I want them to be straight up authentic <laughs> Viking runes. Yeah. Then quit your bitching. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Do you have a rod that you wish to make? <laughs> True. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking, except I think I've gone a little bit too far down. So I'm going to just quickly paint back over that section. And make that little uh, tab a little bit shorter. Indeed. And now to repeat that. Seven or eight more times on each leg. Seven or eight. Something like that. I don't want to go overboard. We'll be here all day. David Stockman says, finally. What? <laughs> I think that we're painting Avengers Hero Clicks. <laughs> yeah, finally repaint. We've been talking about it for a while. We have. Trying to do it. You can tell Rick is concentrating because he's very quiet. Yep. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, how's it looking? Let's see. Oh, wow. Once oh, David says, I just oh. repainted a dune buggy as a venom buggy. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. cool. Sorry, did you want me to Each? zoom up on one of them? Oh, did you just zoom in on, uh, on Rick's? Uh, you want me to zoom? Oh, actually. Do an overhead shot. Overhead shot. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so you gotta let those dry. Yeah. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one on the top of his head and then two on the side, too. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how those all. I wanna out. see a picture of that venom buggy. I do too. Can Send be. us a picture, David. <laughs> yeah, post it in the group. Post it in the Happy Minis group. Yep. So what has everybody else been painting lately? You know, it's like, we love seeing everybody's posts in the group, and there's been some really good ones lately. <laughs> uh, you see the ones that Drew put in there of his uh, ATRTs? ATRTs, yeah, those, those are very cool. Good. He said he actually repositioned uh, the legs on one of them. Oh, okay. To sort of have them have sort of switch up the look a little bit. Uh, David says a lot of times it's easier to use the, a paint thinner and remove the paint before. Uh, that, that way the colors pop more. He's talking about repainting. Oh, yeah. Re yeah. Repaint the existing, uh, sorry, remove the existing paint on the model. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with that. 
Also, Shane says, uh, watching you all paint is very relaxing. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Is that Zen uh, slow strokes of the brush? Mini Painting Studio says, Kingdom Death all week. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Are you still working on the Phoenix, or have you moved on to another? So I think he was working on the Phoenix last, on Tuesday. Or is it Josh? <laughs> yes, we must know. Do not hide this information from us. Okay, we've sort of vicariously through uh, Josh's painting of Kingdom Death stuff. Do you want to paint Kingdom Death? Hmm? We can't. Uh, well, not on the show we can't. <laughs> correct. In real life, in I real life, if I wanted to. Totally but, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I'd uh, like to, but I'm kind of a sort of a completionist in some some ways. So I'd want to paint all of them. All of them, yeah. And there's a lot of them. Carl says started on my dragon from Dragons Don't Share. All right. Cool. And uh, Mini Painting Studio says all monsters are done. Just finishing Survivors up today. Oh, cool. Okay. Hayden says this show is like if Bob if Bob Ross was a nerd. <laughs> he says he wasn't. It's totally a nerd. <laughs> totally a nerd. One of the things that um, so I painted that. Uh, sorry, I shared that Bob Ross meme yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, one of the things on it, not one of the things, but the last line really resonated with me. The whole thrust of the meme was essentially like. Try, try out different ways of doing things and work out which is most comfortable for you. Yeah, it's talking, about, talking about painting. Yeah. And that can be your way of doing it because painting is a very individual thing. Yeah. So we all paint in different ways and we do it for different reasons and we get different levels of enjoyment out of it. It's funny because it was that stuff Definitely something that you've said before <laughs> that you're like, well, this is my way, but do whatever is what you want. Yeah. <laughs> so it's funny when you posted it, and I was like, okay, Dave has said that before. That's funny, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's funny, I didn't actually realize that he'd said that at all. So when I saw it, I was like, oh. Uh, David says some of the figs, figures are clear underneath, so if you remove all the paint, you can do some cool see through effects. All right. Oh, right. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> and he says, acetone is my best friend. <laughs> cool. Also, James says, actually starting up my, dang it, uh, Caradron Overlords? Yep. Car Caradron. Car Caradron. Caradron yep. Overlords Army. Need it for July. Oh. Better paint quickly. He says needs it for July, but does tell us what's going on in July. <laughs> what's going on in July, James? Something he needs a Caradron Overlords Army for. Yeah. That's one of the, uh, well, I say new, but it's one of, one of the new armies that was introduced for uh, Age of Sigma. Okay. So it's basically um, steampunk dwarves in floating airships, oh. in like brass airships. Okay. So That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. They do look really good. Oh, James is off to work. All Have right. Have a great day. Bye, James. Have a good day. Uh, Peter says, it's bizarre how painting cleanly into a corner can be so satisfying. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just that little uh, tidying everything up. It's the brush stroke there. Yeah. Now I understand what you were saying. Yeah. Sometimes I don't speak well. Sometimes it's my accent. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That Kiwi accent, yeah. <laughs> I Andrew, had to say it. Sorry. I tell you what. <laughs> you did. It was it was there for the saying. You're all good. I think one of the other reasons I felt like this would be a fun paint today is yeah. doing a re uh, you know doing this was because I went to um, uh, Bel Air Games. Yep. Uh, over the over the weekend, and um, they were playing uh, Star Wars Armada. Oh, okay. And someone had 
done done repla repaints on all of their uh, Imperial forces. They're, so their Star Destroyers were the, uh, a whole different repaint okay. scheme. They're like a black and red. And they're just sick. Cool. And I was like, oh man, we gotta do that. <laughs> Excellent. And you know, like I told you, I went over to the home or to the warehouse today to get stuff for the, this week. And part of that was also the miniatures. That, that was the one thing that they, they didn't have was the. Right. the I was like, oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to focus on this style for the moment, um, just to show a couple other things. So at the moment, it looks like a camera thigh with just sort of those black lines on it. It's a little, there's slight illusion of depth, um, but not too much. So what you can do is go back and enhance that with a, like a dark silver, and you paint that kind of underneath the line, those black lines. So you start to get it, like the feel of overlapping. Oh, I see what you're doing. Are metal. you gonna paint a highlight? Yep. Nice. Okay. Yep. So just punching the shadow in there first. And then, so got that in. I can come back and do a you know, highlight sort of above that. So it's the, it catch, sort of catching the, the light along the bottom of the plate. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I say I look so much better if I have my glasses. <laughs> but if you're telling me it's working okay. It looks great. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. And it's okay? It's all right? So. There we go. I mean, it looks amazing. And what's, what's cool is, because one of the things that we had mentioned is that it, because in the movie, and the outfits are very metallic, very yep. armor-esque. And, uh, yeah, that looks so cool. And the way we're giving those those lines and those like um, where it looks like it's like a f overlapping. Yep. Uh, when they do grow, it can almost give you that effect of like that's yep. what it should look like, you know, as it expands. Yep. Shane says that looks incredible, but he got a boogie because to get his kids, catch y'all later. All right. Shane. And Steve Shane. says looks great. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. the inside here and it's going to hit a couple of little areas yeah. I think I might mess around with the uh, it's nice that the sculpt has the muscles already there yeah yeah that's it nice it really um, makes that makes repainting it a whole <laughs> lot easier <laughs> but obviously it makes the original model look pretty cool too yeah um, I think I'm gonna mess around with. Uh, I'm gonna break from the the silver, just so I can play with the uh, yellow. Do something uh, a little bit different on there, but I'm gonna have to dig deep into my box of goodies, paints. Got some yellow, some German gray. I'd also like to give a shout out to all of our friends that are over in um, the UK right now for the UK Game Expo. Oh yeah. Luckies. For sure. <laughs> uh, I just feel like that would have been a, a kind of a cool show to attend. Oh definitely, definitely. I think the... Um, oh. Last year I think it, it, either, it came close to or either, either came close to or exceeded the uh, attendance of Gen Con? Uh, no, no, of uh, Origins. Oh, okay. So. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Origins where only. Where is it in? Where? It's in uh, Birmingham. Birmingham. Oh, okay. No. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm messing everything up. There we go. These Nordic runes are almost looking more like um, tags. Yeah. <laughs> like street tags. <laughs> you can tidy that up. Are you going to paint over top of them? There as we far go. As like a wash no. to dull it down? I don't know. But it, like yeah. I said, it kind of gives it that 
Yeah. Street yeah. tag look. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Cool. One of the other things you could do is on the teeth. See how the teeth are basically just one color? Yeah. You can put a wash over that. Like a um, sepia kind of wash. Okay. Get some yellowing and uh, discoloration, but you run it around the, the gum line. The gum line. Yeah. yeah. And you also go back in and um, hit some of those gum lines with uh, a little bit of pink. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, or like a tan flesh, tan flesh color. Like this one. Like that one. Like that one. Exactly. Yeah. Dig it. So with this, I wanted to get a little bit more um, definition into some of the yellow areas. So you take some Avalon Sunset from uh, Games Workshop. My Avalon Sunset's a little bit thick at the moment, so. Uh -oh. Yeah. That happens sometimes. Oh, it's like gloppy. It is a little bit gloppy. But I'll just mix it in with a little bit of a little bit of water. Here we go, and I'm gonna add a little bit of red leather to it. Just to make sure it's got a really good sort of pigmentation okay. through there. Yeah. And start painting that on, particularly around the, the areas are gonna see more shadow. I like using Avalon Sunset mm -hmm. because it's got it does have a lot of pigment to it. Okay. So it covers quite well. Sorry, Johnny, I was working completely off the uh, off the overhead camera. Yeah. Thomas Ryan says Jack Kirby would be proud of Dave's shadows. Oh, I agree. <laughs> that is the cool thing about working on like on a comic book model. Yeah. It can be a little bit uh, it doesn't have to be all smooth, yeah, super smooth sort of blends. It can uh, you can get that very graphic style. Which I've just lucked into really. <laughs> <laughs> on this one. It's a good one too. And I think it's kind of funny that of all the boxes we had to choose from, you picked one of a, that's kind of topical to an upcoming movie. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Definitely, yeah. And lucky. <laughs> so. That's where I'm going with that, uh, that base coat. You see, making it darker than the original original yellow. I'm going to take a little bit of the, a little bit more of the red leather. It's mainly in that, the back of the calf and um, where would you cast that sort shadow? of in a crease in the, the angle, yeah. So I'm going to leave that there. I think the, her, her costume in the, the film is a little bit less, this is a very sort of bright yellow. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit darker, a little bit more um, muted. I could be wrong, but. I think it, it has a lot of reds in it for some reason. Right. Yeah, I was that, gonna say, doesn't that, it almost look brown? Like that's Ant-Man. Ant-Man well. has the reds. As well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is it? It's, like the yellow almost just looks like brown. Like sort of, that's kind of. Yeah. I think it might be that, like a, that's a like a filter over the whole film. That's true. <laughs> they do that. But uh, no, yeah, it is. I guess looking at the imagery here, it does have reds and more. No, it is more yellows, but so right. it's like. But again, it has that whole metallic. It's yeah. like golden, which yeah. is kind of yeah. what I'm like. Yeah. yeah. If you want to see there, there's right. a bit of good blast on it. Put it under the, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see how it's way more metallic. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a higher contrast. But even still, like, there's a ton of black. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to work that black in around the, um, sort of through the yellow areas. Good. I always think it's interesting how they redesign the, um, characters' costumes. Right. Because it seems like none of them, they try, like a lot of them, they do not harken back to like any old <laughs> imagery, which is a choice, but I, I, I'm always like, oh, I wish one of them would at least have like an old 
right. right. costume. Even if it did look goofy, I still feel like it would be good. Like, the Hulk should have purple pants. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, Chuck says, I'm relatively new to mini painting. Is there a primer that you use slash prefer? Uh, most of the time I use uh, the primers from Games Workshop. So Citadel, uh, Corax White, and Chaos Black spray primers. Um, there are a couple of other companies that do stuff that's sort of specially formulated for miniature painting. Yeah, but, I, use, um, I use Army Paint and War Paints or, or, yep. or uh, the Games Workshop primers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, the Army Painter range uh, is great too. There's a lot of, you've got the white and the black, but you've also got a lot of different colors as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the cool thing about those is those colors, so their uniform gray matches their uniform gray paint pot. And okay. their, um, what do you call it? Uh, so their Dragon Red Spray matches the dragon red paint mm -hmm. pot, which is cool. Uh, if you're using an airbrush, which you might not be if you're new, but uh, people are using airbrush, um, Vallejo do some great um, primer, okay. um, sort of airbrush primer paints. There's a black, a white, and a like a light gray. Uh, Carl reminded me that Cap's touring outfit from the first movie was pretty true to the original com comics, which was campy and fun. Yeah. And that, that is true. I, Captain America was the one that I was thinking of that had the campy one. Did Lucky. you drop it? Lucky. <laughs> I dropped it like right over the paints. And thankfully, she, nothing, missed. Uh, she, she missed everything. <laughs> it's good. Hooray. She actually minimized and then got large again so that it, she didn't hit the paint. Exactly. It's amazing. She's so good. I, She's I, so good. I couldn't hold the, <laughs> couldn't hold her. I was expecting the large version of it. Well, Leona, touching on what you said about like the costumes, I mean, if in certain movies, especially with the X-Men, bringing them to like the big screen, they kind of have to modernize some of the costumes because I think there was a line in one of the movies that just spandex doesn't... It uh, doesn't look great on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. So they, at least I remember with the X-Men, they tried to make it look like they were wear wearing actual clothing. And they definitely did that with Scarlet Witch. Like, they updated her outfit. Yeah. They also updated her outfit because she... She, asked them to, <laughs> she, asked she them refused to. to do it in that yeah. corset. Yeah. No, I mean, I, for certain of them, I, I think it makes sense. It's just, like, some of them, I'm like, oh... Oh yeah, there's absolutely some characters you, if you could see him like, if you could have seen Wolverine in his original yellow and bl yeah. brown, yeah, would have been sick. <laughs> I, I would have. Been I'm sick. sorry. I'm like, personally a fan of the brown and orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently, me and Rick aren't on speaking terms now. <laughs> Lucky Controversial you. opinion. <laughs> I was concentrating on my miniature. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> yeah, focused. Yeah. Focus all your hatred for what? for Johnny. For Johnny. And his terrible angst. opinions. <laughs> well, if I'd known that was all I had to do, I would have done it sooner. Ha <laughs> <Yeah>. ha. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. And I would, I'll say this, though. Uh, like, the Spider-Man... Like Iron Spider Man and everything in the Avengers was really good. And as far as, you know, again, getting to see yep. some classic and throwback costumes. I think it's almost, uh, from the, the studio's point of view, it's an opportunity to put their stamp on whatever it is, or the, oh, dire the director's opportunity to. Absolutely. Look like. Because I would tell you right now, if they would have went with the Guardian of the Gal Guardians of the Galaxy outfits in the comics, uh, <laughs> <laughs> seeing Rocket, Groot, and uh, and uh, Star Lord with these like weird buttoned up on both sides, all right, yep. with, with the star stuff in there, I've been like, ugh, gross. So does they have like a uniform? Is that what? Yeah. Oh wow. 
and they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> But did they start out with those uniforms? No. I mean, Star-Lord in the comics is way different than what he, as far as in the original um, rendition of, of the character. There we go. So what we're going to do now is uh, mess around with some black... Uh, areas on the boots. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my own design. Yeah. So I can put my own stamp yes. on this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The, <laughs> the crazy thing is that there's probably an opportunity for me to make this look like a completely different character. Yeah. But I have no idea it probably exists. And, but that's okay. In some alternate timeline. Yeah, in a, in a uh, other worlds or what if comic book line. Yeah. What if Deadpool killed the Marvel Universe? I'm trying to think of a bug name that you would be. I'm like, it's not the wasp. It's the... Ladybug girl. See, I thought of that, but <laughs> I was like, that's a <laughs> Ladybug girl. Praying mantis, the hey. stink bug. Oh, the, <laughs> the yep. stink bug would have been funny. Regular fly, house fly. <laughs> what about the bee? The bee. The okay. bee. Queen bee. That makes sense. Queen bee. Is there? There's got to be a villain called Queen Bee. Yeah. Uh, not so much in the Marvel U. But somewhere else. Uh, isn't there Queen Bee in the uh, in? Um, What's that frickin' it's Cartoon Network cartoon that used to be out there with the the, the monarch? Are you talking about the Venture Brothers? Yes. <laughs> the I don't know if there was a Queen Bee. It was like Dr. Girlfriend and stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. Dr. Girlfriend. Right. <laughs> Just it's totally like Queen Bee. That name. <laughs> Although that leg is kind of reminding me of Forge from the X-Men. Oh, yeah. yeah. That guy was awesome. I wonder if he's actually made an appearance in some capacity in the cinematic U. Also, Carl says there was a cartoon called The Mighty Bee. The Mighty Bee. The Brown Hornet. But it wasn't a superhero. Uh, no. By the time I finish, this won't be a superhero. <laughs> It'll be a robotic, like Ultraman. Ultraman? Yeah. Ultraman. All I know is it's, it is these doing some. Uh, Painting over these is actually pretty cool, and that miniature looks so good now. I mean, it looked good anyways because yeah. uh, WizKids is totally up their game in regards to their sculpts for, for Hero Clicks it's, over the years. And sculpts, are, yeah, this, this sculpt is fantastic, and the, and the yeah. paint job on it is pretty good too. Yeah. So. Especially when they're mass producing these things. Yeah. yeah. Where did I go? Wait. There we go. So what else has everybody got going on? You guys got anything big planned for the weekend? What's going on? I'm sure there's got to be some conventions coming up for everybody. Well, on Saturday, yeah, it's my birthday. What? Yep. And how old will we be? 22. Nice. <laughs> what a great age. It is a great age. Dave, is it really your birthday this Saturday? It really is my birthday this Saturday. It's my wife's birthday this Saturday. <gasps> Coincidence? I think not. People never seen in the same room at the same time. Dave <laughs> and Johnny's wife. <laughs> Wait, what's that mean? Wait, who did I marry then? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Your choice, buddy. Your choice. That's Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday to your wife on Saturday, Johnny. And the same to you. Thank you. Carl says, are you married to Dave? Uh, <laughs> we think so. Bum, bum, bum! The plot thins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sure Johnny makes better choices than me. Wow. Are you doing anything special for your birthday? Uh, not really, no. It's going to party like it's 1999. And paint. When I was 22. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get some painting done. That's cool. Just a kind of a weird. And don't you have to work on your book still? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. There we go. <laughs> no, I have a plan for it. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, at which point do I stop? Oh. Why? Why? Oh. Is it that time already? Yeah, we got. Oh my goodness. We got a, just a few minutes. What do we got? We got a couple minutes. Yeah, that's yeah. the point in which you stop. That's one of the things is like sometimes we get into these and we're like, uh, <laughs> you know. Sorry, I'm mean working on sections. Yeah. So with this one, I put those runes on his on his head, redid his teeth and gums, highlighted his abdomen down through his tail to the tip of his tail, and did some other green lifts on the back as well. That's all. You like that green. What green is it? Is that it right there was um, wizard orb, or yeah. no, I'm sorry, it was green skin. Green skin. Green skin. From the Omni Painter range? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you did, you did the, uh, change the gum line? I did. Nice. Yeah. This, will look, this worked perfectly. Uh, what is this one? Tan. Tan. It's tan Just from tan the, from uh, game yep, color. the game color range. Yeah. Which is very similar to the old GW uh, tanned flesh. Nice. But I'm just going to do some quick highlighting of the black. All right. So you finished. This is kind of a, a bit of a turnaround. You finished the uh, the whole model. What I wanted to do, yeah. And uh, I've um, done the leg. <laughs> but that leg looks amazing. <laughs> it is pretty cool. I can't complain about it. Um, just some news for you guys and gals watching us. Um, yes, we are painting Happy yep. Little Minis. Uh, but uh, starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing a we're starting a Gleam campaign, where um, for Origins for the month of June. Right. But it's going to be a mega prize pack. <gasps> a lot of board games. A lot of uh, different uh, publishers are going to be uh, donating some games to this prize pack. Awesome. Someone's going to win a, a year subscription to Game Trade Magazine. Excellent. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of fun stuff in there. So um, they'll be able to see some painting articles from painting happy little minis yeah. Yeah. in the mag. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty cool. Excellent. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then, and when it, we launch it, make sure you guys are sharing it and getting it out to the universe, so uh, all of our friends have an opportunity. Our friends, your friends, have an opportunity to enter and potentially win this mega prize. Don't mind me. Keep going. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Keep over going. there. He's oh. doing his thing. <laughs> Those boots look amazing now, too. Dang it. Wait. I imagine oh, that this character has, like, superpowers, but only in that leg. Right. So it's like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> when they put their foot down, it's right. like, sonic. <laughs> like a sonic boom? Yeah. yeah. Or it could be, like, lightning oh, through the ground. Cool. That would be cool. Thunder thigh. Yeah. This one. Oh. Exactly. So Not thighs. Gonna... Just one. Just one. Hang on. She's almost done. We got a second, haven't we, Jenny? Yeah. Jenny's like, oh, I guess so. Yeah, Jenny's like, I've got other things to do. <laughs> Places to be. Come on, Taylor. No, I don't. And speaking of other things to do, we actually yep. went down to um, the Jeffy Entertainment Museum yesterday. Oh, awesome. Uh, 
because there was a big announcement that uh, the museum itself will be closing. Oh, well, and, that's awesome then. Um, but in closing, they are donating like a lot of the museum to the Library of Congress oh, okay, to be fantastic. put up on display right in the Jefferson Building, right next to the like gifts shop. Right. It's going to be a whole room, a Jeffy room, right. with uh, a lot of pop culture and comic book history in there for people to see at a much larger scale. Sure. So um, we filmed some well, stuff. That's good, then. We interviewed Mr. Jeffy. Um, it was it was really good, and so there should be a, a pretty pretty nice little video coming out here here soon um, around that. So again, stay tuned for that as well. Excellent. Also, Carl says one leg girl, the anime hero we all need. <laughs> like One Punch Man. <laughs> yes, One Punch Man's new partner, One Kick Girl. <laughs> one Kick Girl. Okay. God, that looks so cool. So there we go. I'm not going to put her on the spinner. I guess the rest of her isn't done. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's think, cool. Uh, messing around, doing up some uh, different kind of looks. So what would be fun is, you know, if if people play this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put take a, up the picture of uh, Giganto yep. and put it in a hero clicks group and uh, maybe give it away to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That like, sounds cool. You're like, I know it's not a big deal, but maybe somebody might want this. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Well, that there, ladies and gentlemen, has been our episode today. Thank you for letting us uh, join you. Uh, again, we did a repaint on some Hero Clicks from the new Avengers Infinity line uh, from WizKids. If you want to find out more about Hero Clicks, go to WizKids.com and. Uh, yeah, that's right there. You can find out all you need to know about Hero Clicks and the organized play at your local game stores. And uh, so you can get in on some actual tournament play and win some cool little OP you know, yep. uh, prizes. For a second there, I thought you were reading off the back of the box. It says, learn to play at your local game store. <laughs> I wasn't, but it does What say an that. amazing confluence of Yeah, the events. universe aligned perfectly. <laughs> um, and we always thank you guys for allowing us to be a part of your community and joining us yep. and being a part of ours. If you haven't joined the Painting Happy Little Minis group, please go over there and request to join up. We'll let you in. And we, all we ask is participate. You know, yep. Post pictures, uh, ask questions, all sorts of stuff. If you want to go live and do your own live streaming in the group, we, we recommend it and uh, encourage it. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. So that's it. This has been Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And we'll see you at the game store. <laughs>